Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to drop the hummer. Oh, love the champ cars. Down in the corner, got a three wide for the race lead. Digging and pod, scratching a clod out of turn number two and down to back shooting. Here comes a run. Now the number 71, Shane Cockrum, I believe, the one trying to slice his way up through, looking down the inside. Everybody going to the, oh, uh, maybe not the insides. We're going to blaze a few around the top shelf. Down turn number three and four. Saul Schrader doing it in the modified. We're going to try her in the Silver Crown Series. There's a big charge down into the corner. Number 20 car, Jerry Coons Jr., who I told you was going to be down on the guardrail, is the exact opposite of that as he is way to the outside. C.J. Leary, the number 30 car, is going to follow in his footsteps down into turn number three and four. Tyler Courtney, the 97 car, who had rolled from the pole, shuffled back into second as caution flag coming out. He wanted to adjust to Grant. Rolling along back behind. Quick drive down into the corner. Leary's able to get himself around. Coons at the flag stand. We'll try to hang on down the back shoot. Jerry Coons just a tick quicker, and he's down on the guardrail like I anticipated and had mentioned earlier on in the day. We'll roll our race leaders on through. C.J. Leary struggling with the lap traffic. Allows Grant to close. Grant's got to drive out of turn number two. Challenge for the race lead. Down the back straightaway. Justin Grant's going to drive around C.J. Leary in the number 30 car. Nice move through turn number one and two, and Grant kind of set that up on lap traffic. There's a move over flag coming out for some more cars. You've got a new race leader down into the corner. It's Justin Grant. Leary now running second on the field. Shane Cottle is third. And lo and behold, Jerry Coons Jr. is closing on the top three. Looked like he was going to try the th same thing on Coons, and Coons just made a quick little dart down to the inside. And at that point, I remembered that they have spotters up in the stands. Here comes a run out of Cottle down the back straightaway challenge for the race lead. Long side with Grant. Grant will be forced up high this time. Cottle feathers the throttle. And unfortunately, not able to get the number one spot away from Grant. But man, that was close. He's got a run. Slider down into the corner. More of a drive. Here comes a slider. A return. Two swaps of the race lead. Three swaps of the lace race lead at this end of the racetrack. And Cottle able to get back out there front or back into the number two spot, rather. As Justin Grant's able to get back out front in the 91 car. That was an incredible little run. See if he can capitalize. Here comes that dodge down to the inside. Justin Grant's got to be getting tired of that. Reaches out and smacks him down once more. But sooner or later, that smack's going to miss its mark. And oh, Cotto opened himself up to an attack. Beautiful move by the 63 of Swanson to get himself into the number two spot. Drove it through the corner, and Cottle didn't even see that one coming. Nor did Grant as here comes Swanson around the outside. Got the go side with 24 laps to go. Not going to seal the deal, Cottle says. Nay, nay, as he'll charge down the inside. Three-car battle for the race lead. Down through the corner, Swanson looking wide. Here comes the 63 car onto the front straightaway. Grant's down low. Cottle's running third, and you got a new race leader. Swanson made it look easy. Down to turn number three and four. Like six is going to be as far as it goes for the number 97 car. And here comes a run down the back straightaway on Grant. Oh, going for a two for the contact. Around goes Swanson, and around goes Shane Cottle. He tried to get two of them down in the corner. They touch tires. Swanson's able to continue on, but Cottle, I believe, is stopped up against the wall. Oh, my. Game changer. Swanson is out of turn number two. They go. C.J. Leary working down low. He's worried about Sunshine in the 97 car. No, oh, Tyler Courtney stomped the brakes and got loose and opened himself up to attack. And to the inside goes Cody Swanson. Right back at him comes Tyler Courtney out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Doesn't have the skins to hang with him, however. Cody Swanson will shrug him off and now can focus on just one car. And that's the 30 car, C.J. Leary, and what will be a battle for the number two spot. Justin Grant is gone. 3.7 second advantage. Coming around with six laps to go for the 91 car. He has got to protect his tires. As Justin Grant, the last thing that he needs is a blown right rear, and I'm here to tell you, that thing has given up just about all the life that it has. As Cody Swanson clears C.J. Leary in the number 30 car, and will now try to run down a full straightaway advantage on the 91 car, Justin Grant up front. Picked up the white flag and out turn number two he goes down the back shoot. The Ion California racer. DRC chassis, Speedway Ford Power underneath the hood. The Helmel Garn Enterprises, Superior Fitness, number 91, is going to bring it out of turn number four and pick up the win at the Sumar Classic. 
They did her. That's 63 car. Curtis Swanson will finish out second. Tyler Courtney in the 97 rounding out the top 